You know that I'm a huge fan of the unpivot operation, but I want you to meet a friend of his, which is the pivot operation. And sometimes that's what you need. Now, unpivot, if you've seen me do that, it's in my tutorial. Uh, it takes the data spread across in columns, imagine January, February, March, April, so on, and puts that in rows. And that's a very elegant operation and often a, a much uh, better shape for Power BI. Instead of spread out across columns, you want the data to be in rows. But sometimes it's the opposite uh, of what we need. So sometimes we need the pivot operation, which takes the data in rows and puts that into columns. So for example, take this example. So we have kind of date, uh, and you know some kind of a customer or something amount amount maybe tax amount and then it repeats and we would like that to be pivoted as shown here now this stems from a question asked inside our class uh, by Florent and the first time I saw the question I was not in my desk but I wrote in saying hey that looks like a pivot operation now Florent there was a discussion healthy discussion among students and a lot of other folks jumped in uh, certainly Peter was there and there was a talk about, uh, yeah, Pivot wasn't quite working. And then they did find a solution to Ken Pulse. In fact, I'm using Ken Pulse's data uh, to show you this example right here. And Ken Pulse, that solution definitely works. But still, when I looked at this problem, it felt like a pivoting problem. And I'm like, that should be the solution. It just feels elegant. But when I tried it, I got the same result. I got an error but I'm gonna share with you how I got to the answer. And as one of my favorite students, Keith Nail said, to teach is to learn twice. So I learned something new and hopefully I'm, I'm able to share that, share that with you. All right, so let's see. So uh, here's what I did. So I, I essentially labeled each column, uh, each row, right? So I didn't, I didn't use names. So notice in uh, uh, Florence example, he, he had specified names to it. So he had said, well, uh, this row is type, then the, I have fixture, then I have result, then I have edge result, and, and then they repeat again, right? So he has labeled it. I just use numbers here, so, but it's the same thing. So I say, you know, kind of 0, 1, 2, 3, and then I go again, 0, 1, 2, 3, and I said, yep, unpivoted, you know, make those 0, 1, 2, 3 into columns, and it didn't work, right? So, uh, so you, uh, uh, well, sorry if I, I said unpivot. Pivot it. We're taking rows and turning into columns. That's the pivot operation. Pivot gives an error. It's like, oh, it doesn't work. And as I was struggling with it, <laughs> and it's all right. Yeah, you know, we all struggle. That's okay. Enjoy the journey, my friend. Enjoy the journey. Yep, uh, take it like a puzzle. You're Sherlock Holmes. You're the Power BI Sherlock Holmes, my friends. All right, so I got the same thing, but this time, and this was happenstance, I left the index column in that I had used to generate this one. This 0, 1, 2, 3, that was done using a number.mod. In fact, you can see the formula right there. That's the best way to learn M, just turn on the formula bar. And you know, <laughs> you'll learn it over time. It's all right, cool. All right, so I left that in. Now this is not the answer, but the pivot worked. The pivot worked, right? So pivot worked, and you can actually take the solution and still make it work. You can say, yep, you know, fill it up. Uh, so there is a, a fill up over there in transform. You can say fill data up and then identify the first row, which is not that hard to do. You know, zero, four, eight, seems like just multiples of four, and that would give you your answer. So you can work it this way, but this still felt a little weird. And if you think more about it, it it's problematic as well. If there are actual null values within the data set. So this didn't seem perfect, but I came over here and I said, well, let me unpivot. Let me bring that back into rows. Now, as expected, if you do unpivot, so watch what happens. So again, uh, I have it in my, um, uh, this one. So I started off with this and ended up with this, right? And, and if I unpivot, unpivot that, yeah, bring that down into columns. So if I say unpivot other columns, bingo, I'm back to where I started. So so it makes sense, but somehow doing that, oops, uh, helped me realize what's going on. So what pivot does, let's go back over here, is, so when I said pivot on this column, uh, hold on, let's see. There we go, perfect. So when I said pivot on this column, send that to, uh, uh, send that, uh, yeah, so change the rows here, 
zero, one, two, three to columns. It did that, but then it, it looks for an, uh, uh, a unique value for this. So it can't put a table in there, but since we had an index over there, zero, one, two, three, four, it said, oh, I know where the index is zero, right? Index is zero and column is zero. The value is 1026. So it puts that there. You see what's happening here, right? So it found that unique value and it put it here in this cell. And then it worked the same way here. So it said, oh, when the index is one and the column is one, this guy, I know what the value is. So it's looking for unique values. And now if you go back, that's why it choked on this because when it said zero, Okay, give me the value for zero. It found multiple values, multiple values. Now, this gave me the idea to make it work perfectly. So right now we have index here and it, the data kind of gets spread out. All right. Now, hey, if I lose you, it's okay, my friend. You can come back to it later when you're working on this uh, a problem like that. But this is a bit advanced. It was advanced for me. But once you see it, it just makes sense. I hope it clicks for you. If it doesn't, that's all right. So what you do is instead of uh, leaving that index there, I created column number and row number. And now I can remove the index. So index is gone. And are you ready? Boom. That's it. So look at that. It, it just now it had. So let's uh, look at the third solution, which is all right, so it again, I said unpivot on columns. So it puts this zero over here in this column. And then it says, hey, for row number zero, do I have a value? I do 1026. It puts it there. Then it moves on. It puts one over here. And then it says, oh, for row number zero, do I have a value? I do city of Vancouver. And it puts that there and so on, so forth. So that's it. It pivots felt like the right solution. We just have to work our way up to that. But my friend, that's where the reward is. Until next time, power on.